Okay. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna start on the taller things. Um, I want at least three tall things. They need to be over six inches, um, which doesn't seem like, like that, that, that big of a deal. Six inches, I mean, that's like, that's probably like this, you know? So like I'm, I'm starting with three pounds of clay. This will get me a lot more than six inches, but I've also been practicing for a lot longer than you. So um, um, I don't, you know, I want you to try, you know, the best you can. I don't expect things, obviously, to be professional, whatever, but try. Okay, so when I'm starting out here, one thing you may have noticed is I get my clay pretty round. I put it in the middle of the wheel, and then I kind of, like, slap it down. So now it is very in the middle. It's not centered. I could actually probably just drop the hole and throw it from here, um, but I don't... No, I, I'm probably going to want it to be a little bit more centered than that. Okay, it's three pounds of clay. Okay, more clay, more leverage from your body. So get that elbow in your hip. I don't know if it's either your right or your left elbow. Get it in your hip. You can press forward on the clay. I'm going to pull back here with my left hand or your right hand. Depends on which, which one you're using. I'm going to bring that clay up. Okay. I'm bring it up a little higher. So let me turn off that wheel, please. Do you know how? It's, there's like a switch, basically. It's like right under the pedal. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah, it it kind of mimics this this wheel. I don't know if you were around when that was happening or if it was my other class. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna bring up the second cone. I like to at least do two. So I'm pushing hard pretty forward, I'm pulling back pretty hard. Pushing forward pretty hard, pulling back pretty hard. I'm gonna bring up a little bit taller cone here. When I do this, I'm actually putting force down here. It looks like I'm putting force up here, but it's really just this knuckle right down at the bottom. And this, <coughs> this other hand is kind of bringing that clay up. You can see my hands are always pretty loose and relaxed. Okay, now to push that down, I'm going to push it forward, and I'm going to pull back kind of in the middle. You really don't even need a ton of pressure, and that clay will just go down. I just kind of pull back in the middle, and as long as you're pushing kind of diagonally this way and you're pulling back, the clay will kind of expand under where you're pulling back on the clay, and it won't mushroom over. And you, have, you want to be kind of patient with it. Don't just kind of force it down. The reason I do the um, the wheel wedging, um, one is it kind of remembers that it was a nice tidy cone um, when you're going to pull the cylinder, uh, but it also makes it a lot easier easier to center when you're centering from the top down. So I'm cent I, I, I'm not centering this whole piece of clay. I'm centering the top of the clay and moving it down to the bottom. Now the whole thing is centered. I'm going to relax off the clay. So I'm pushing forward and down and diagonal there. Okay, now I'm going to drop the hole. Okay, wrist is low just like before. I'm going to press down in the middle of the clay. Okay. Keep pressing. See, I we've got a little bit more water. The bucket because it was getting sticky. Um, I don't like to trim tall things very much. Um, I'll trim bowls and plates and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to drop it down to a quarter of an inch. It looks almost like I may have dropped it down a little too far. Yep. So that's like too thin there. So I'm going to open it up a little higher. And I'm really not opening it up that much more than what I was opening it up for one of the cup things. Okay. Now I'm going to compress that clay into the middle. So that'll get rid of that too thin spot there. So I opened it up a little higher than I normally would and then compress the clay into the middle. I'm going to compress a couple times. Okay. So now the volcano. Um, when you're dealing with a, a small thing, you don't really need to try to bring up the volcano too much. 
Um, I like to bring this up kind of high. So I'm gonna really get this knuckle in here and then this is gonna come on the other side. And one's gonna push forward, one's gonna pull back. My thumb right here is on the inside. That's not really doing a whole lot. It's just kind of there, just cause that's where my thumb kind of goes when I do that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compress the top. Okay, so now I have a nice tall volcano. Okay, I have a really, I don't know if you can see that in there, but I have a really deep undercut. That's a bunch of clay that I can grab onto right there. I'm gonna pull from the inside with my left hand, I'm gonna pull back. You'll actually see that inside hand kind of form a bump on the outside, and that's what I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna get rid of a little of this excess clay here. Make sure the clay is wet. Pull back and push forward, okay? And that bump on the outside, that is my inside hand. I'm gonna bring this up. And this hand kind of gives way and this hand kind of pushes up. But I want to make sure that this top part, after that first pull, is the thickness that, it's basically the thickness that I end up with, okay? It's a lot thicker down here. It's almost straight on the inside and you can see it's really kind of flanged or kind of white on the outside. So it's almost straight down the inside, it's white on the outside. So you can see where all the excess clay is, it's all down here. It's not up here. There's no big lump at the top. You don't want to leave a lump. If you leave a lump, then it becomes hard to kind of pull through that later on. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of pull back on the inside, my left hand, with my middle finger down at the bottom. I'm pulling straight back towards me, and I'm gonna push straight away from me to make my bump on the outside. Now you can really see where the clay is. I have all this clay right here, and then there's a little bit more, and then this is actually kind of straight up here. That's because that's already pulled into the thickness that I'm finishing, finishing with. Okay, I'm gonna push forward and pull back. So I think at this point I'm probably over six inches. And grab onto the clay, and that bump on the outside is the inside hand. As I get closer to the top, okay, I take my thumb out and I put it on this hand, but I'm also moving my body into the clay. I'm not moving away. With the bowl, you kind of want to move away. That way it goes out. With this, I want to move my body in so it goes up and in. And this is probably, this might be a little bit more than you'll, you'll get out of three pounds, but that's okay. Keep practicing. So I'm just gonna, I had a little bit of a, a twist in the middle there. I just kind of compressed it out with my sponge. Now at the very end, I'm just gonna take, kind of move that in just a little bit there. If you need to, let's say, let's say your cylinder is kind of getting out just a little bit. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of moving out like that, okay? Just put a little water on the outside, take your hands like this, use your index fingers as kind of like little antennae, antennae and just kind of compress that clay back in. Okay, just like that, nice and slow. Let your fingers kind of help guide that clay up and in. Okay. You get a little bit of a wiggle down there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll live. Okay. This is also pretty stiff clay. This is out of the bag. Um, if you want to make really tall things, you have to get used to centering a little stiffer clay and you want to slow down your wheel as you go too. You have to be very aware of what's happening above. So now if I were to freak out about that little wiggle down at the bottom, it would definitely collapse. Okay, remember, because Clay can smell your fear. Um, but I just kind of don't freak out about it. I just keep pulling, just pull through it. I'll go back and, and deal with it. It's got a weird spot there, like the clay kind of fold over itself a little bit, but it's gonna compress that out. Remove the excess clay at the bottom. I don't know, what shape base do you want? Like something that kind of goes like that. Make it up as I go here. 
<laughs> get the water out of the bottom before I forget. Um, I like to do it before I kind of neck, neck it in right at the last minute, but it's good to get it out early that way, just in case you do forget, there's not that much water in the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna use a rib on the inside. So for this, I hold on to it kind of on my fingers like that. Okay, and then I just put my thumb there and then my elbow kind of goes right over the center of the clay. And then I kind of brace my elbow, my right elbow in my body. And then I kind of pull the inside clay back out to the outside rib. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes some sort of sense to you. And just kind of compress those throw, throw lines out. I'm gonna go from the top down to the bottom. I started shaping it, which was maybe a little bit premature. You can see I'm moving my body away as I get further down. I'll move my body closer as I get further up. All right, so I have a little bit of shape happening here. I'm gonna maybe exaggerate that just a little bit more. Just gonna push that out. And I'm actually kind of watching over here more than I'm watching what's happening with my ribs. I do want my ribs to be right across from each other. So it's compressing the clay. I'm just kind of move, move these two ribs you know, together as you're, as you're working the clay. So now, kind of to the point where I think this is probably out far enough here. Okay. Um, if I don't want this upper part to go out, so I actually want this to go in, right? So I don't want to push this upper part out, okay? Right here, I don't want to push this out the same as this one, so um, if I were to push this, let's say, if I were to make it just kind of round like that, then it would be out and you can't really get it back in. So you have to think about what shape you sort of want to start out. Um, and then you have to make everything sort of conform. Okay, I'm going to just kind of kind of squeeze in this thing. So I could just kind of grab onto it like this or like this. Um, I'm just going to squeeze it into about the diameter of the bottom. I have a, a more, a little bit more technical way of squeezing things in when we get to a bottle, but for now, all you really have to do is just kind of grab onto it and choke it in. And I'm going to kind of bring this up. Now to bring this up and out, I guess that could even be a something. Um, I have my out inside hand above my outside hand. Okay. And I can tilt my hand out like that. To give it a flare. Okay. Just gonna bring that in. Just gonna play around with the angle here just a little bit. Is a, can you grab me one of the triangle ribs, please? Yeah, thank you. All right, so I'm pretty much done. Um, I'm going to give it a foot So I'm just kind of, I kind of support on the, the neck. So I just kind of support on the inside of the neck. If I just push in here, sometimes the top will just start swinging around. So I just, I'm just going to support on the inside here as I carefully push this clay in. There's a few little crumbs there that I can get rid of. I'm going to go underneath. I lift that up. Compress the foot. I'm gonna use a little round part right there. Give it a little bit more curve on the bottom. Kind of like this change in shape that's happening right now. So I think I'm gonna leave it. And now 
I could leave it like that, but that's not my MO. I'm gonna come in, slow my wheel down just a little bit here. Make sure that this curve is right, this curve is right. Um, this is the absolute last thing you ever want to do <coughs> is to find this edge here. But if you do it too early, it's just going to collapse. This little line right there. You don't have to do that. It's going to kind of move that into the upper part. All right, and there's a the vase. I think that's a new shape for me. All right, hand you on a wire, please, so I don't lean into it. And if you don't use a ton of water, oh, this is a pokey, pokey wire. Throw your hands off, and you can just boop, just like that. There you go. It's the base. Ta-da.